Welcome to the Cryptonomatron, and today I'm doing a review of Sapien Network, a new social media experience. Watch out, Steam. There's a new kid on the block, and could this one knock Steam off the perch? It's possible. Let's take a closer look of it. This is my Sapien Network ICO review. So the big dog on the block is Steam, obviously. Steam, if you're not familiar, you've probably had your head in the sand or you're new to crypto. Everybody knows about it. It's uh, one of the bigger cryptocurrencies out there. It is a social media platform that rewards curators and uh, content creators. And you can uh, upvote content, reward content uh, as the user. And um, I haven't had great results with it, I'll be honest with you. I think you really need to reinvest and spend a lot of time uh, curating on it. I do put my videos on there um, when I remember to do so, but in general, I haven't really um, had much success with it. Um, I know others that have, uh, but not me. And uh, another one that came out recently, an ICO, was Clout. And Clout, again, want to do the same thing as Steam, decentralize social media and um, uh, have a a curation reward system for content creators uh, so very similar platform they have a different approach to doing it i did mention clout in a video uh, quite a few weeks ago as one of the icos to keep an eye on it's come off ico now so we'll see it on exchanges shortly if it's not already there um, another one of course is investfeed investfeed is focused on social media alone you can reward people for uh, content curation with the ift token the investfeed token and you can also uh, post it's like twitter so you you've got very um limited amount of uh, dialogue you can put on there on the main platform and they also have an associated blogging platform that you can actually write articles and contribute to as well so they've uh, tackled both um both uh, sides of it from short content to longer content uh, and i just did a quick google and uh, this uh, social media market came up if it loads it doesn't appear to be loading right finally got it loaded this is the um social x just came off ico recently uh, going on to exchanges now again similar idea social media on the blockchain decentralized um, network uh, community rewards for curators etc uh, they have an alpha looks quite interesting uh, and uh, i found this interesting article on steam actually uh, from a user called cryptos again link below um, if i ever use your content on my videos i'll always link to it in the description um, so people can actually go and uh, look at it themselves. So this is a list of Steam at Rivals. Uh, Paymeabit.com, never heard of that one, uh, but that's the first one there. Reveal.me, um, again, you can look through all of these. I won't bother spending much time um, talking about them. Uh, interesting one here, Akasha. Uh, again, they are uh, upcoming, They're going to be Ethereum powered. And uh, I don't believe they're going to have an ICO. I think they're just going to do a token drop, if I'm not wrong. I did look at the website a few days ago, but uh, so many things going on at the moment, it's impossible to keep track. Um, Ethereal Cloud, another Ethereum-based social media network there. Uh, excellent list, this, by the way. Well done, Cryptos. Much appreciated for your hard work here. I'll upvote you later with the uh, meager amount of steam I have in my account. Uh, Yours.network, uh, another one here. Uh, and there we go. So uh, I'll just upvote that. I don't think it's going to make much difference to his uh, uh, tally there, if if at all, because I don't keep much uh, Steam tokens in there. No. Nope. So, uh, but thank you anyway for that. So those are the um, the rivals, and no doubt there are many, many more. Uh, social media is obviously a very, very competitive space. There are a lot of rivals all competing for, um, you know, to be the next Facebook, the the uh, the first well-known decentralized platform um, i think it's early days so i think there's a chance for any um, reasonably um, competent team to implement a, a good social media network and if it gets picked up uh, by uh, joe public 
then it's got a chance uh, for success. It's not over and done yet. Steam, Steam might be the biggest at the moment, but I don't think we've we've shaken out um, uh, all the all the other competition yet. I think we we we're at the very early stages. Um, if you think in terms of the dot com boom, a lot of the companies that were around then uh, are no longer with us, and a lot of companies that are around now, such as Facebook and uh, other social media sites, Twitter, etc., uh, weren't there in the beginning. So I think we're going to see a similar. Um, evolution, if you like, of uh, decentralized social media that will bring us an eventual few winners. Um, it won't just be one platform. You know, uh, there will be a few there. Uh, one may take the mantle, but I think we're at early days. I don't think uh, we, you know, I don't think this this is the the final pecking order in the race. So let's look at the problems they want to solve next. <clears throat> and first of all is fake news. There's a lot of fake news being spread on social media networks. It's hard to control and um, it's detrimental to the um, a user's a satisfaction or um, a, you know experience when they're using the site because um, too much fake news, too much rubbish, is um, you know it, it's difficult to deal with. It's hard to sift through, and it's unnecessary and unwanted from the user's point of view. Um, obviously, goes hand in hand with trolling. If you don't know what trolling is, it's basically uh, posting um, to try and get a reaction or to try and uh, incite a reaction from the other social media users. And obviously, it's a problem. There are many trolls out there that just solely post to aggravate or to offend or to uh, uh, provoke a reaction. And uh, number three, uh, social media users have no control. Uh, the platforms that you use already, Facebook, Twitter, etc., you have no control, no say over what's going to happen to them. There's no democratization there. There's no, um, a, you know, your opinion does not matter. You're just a user of the platform uh, and that's all. <clears throat> And number four, um, authoritarian moderation. Uh, moderators usually have carte blanche to remove people if they disagree with their opinion or they disagree with what they're saying or um, you know, they just take a dislike to people. So the, the moderation on many sites can be overly author uh, or authoritarian sorry, and uh, they're obviously busy, so they don't really have time to uh, take into account um, any arguments or uh, you know any any reasoning so it's normally it's quite authoritarian um, and perhaps moderation may not even be applied in certain cases where it is, it is required so on the um, sapien network platform because it's decentralized because it's um, it's almost self moderating if you like if you take part in the um, the platform it's reputation based so that will hinder um, and hopefully prevent the spread of fake news, that users are trolling on it, much like it does on Steam it at the moment. Um, and um, it'll also give people um, a, a chance to self-moderate. So, you know, if you're using the platform, you have to be a little bit more uh, careful about what you post. And obviously the big problem um, is that content creators uh, are not rewarded for their work. Uh, you know, I know people that post on social media constantly, um, nearly every moment of every waking day and uh, they don't get anything for their efforts so they spend a lot of time on these social media platforms and they don't get anything for it so that's what these decentralized uh, networks um, are going to solve and uh, number six there's no incentive to participate so although the big platforms uh, Facebook you know Twitter um, these types of uh, platforms are, are um, busy. There is no incentive to participate in them really other than um, uh, for certain influencers or certain people that use them for f uh, monetary gain on other channels or advertising. There's no real incentive for the, just the normal user to participate and that's why these decentralized networks that reward curators and um, people that take part are going to be important moving forward. Number seven, traditional platforms exploit user data. They compromise privacy. So they will sell your data on to other uh, third parties and other areas. And they're also open to hacking and other uh, data breaches, which uh, um, again is, is not possible with a decentralized network. 
Number eight, there is no real free speech. Um, your comments can be moderated because it's a centralized platform. They have to apply certain regulations, uh, which a decentralized uh, platform does not have to uh, con uh, comply with. A decentralized platform is international. Um, it works over a number of nodes throughout the world uh, that cannot be shut down. So, um, you know, it, 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 essentially you won't have moderators removing your, your uh, opinion just because they disagree with it. And uh, the last problem that they want to solve with Sapien Network is there's little or no customization available for the current media platforms. And what I mean by that is uh, not just being able to turn on or off notifications, that type of thing. Um, they're looking at skins, they're looking at the way the site looks. You can, uh, with Sapien Network, you'll be able to actually customize um, all these little details and uh, make it look like you want to, you want it to, uh, to look, you know, so you're not just stuck with the basic a Facebook model, a, you know, the, the, the appearance, you can change that um, to the way that you want it. So the aims of Sapien and the way they're going to um, address these problems that we've just outlined is that they're going to build a customizable, democratized social news platform that's capable of rewarding millions of content creators and curators without any centralized intermediaries. Now, it will be powered by an ERC-20 compliant cryptocurrency called SPN. It's a, a decentralized app built on the back of the Ethereum blockchain, so to speak. And it will evolve, they say, to include a marketplace, other integrations, and other third-party apps. Uh, their core values are targeted around democracy, uh, where they believe that every user should have a, a say in the way it's, uh, it's going to go. Privacy, again, um, you know, uh, they will... They recognize that advertising is profitable, but it exploits user data and also infringes on your privacy. Um, they are going to uphold free speech, obviously, that um, uh, they're going to disrupt current models uh, that don't have free speech. And uh, customizability as well. They are going to be able to tailor the um, experience specifically for you. So their key features are going to include some uh, public and private browsing options, subscriptions, uh, friends, groups, and posts, a feature-rich chat option. It's going to be encrypted, and it's going to be highly customizable. So there is a beta available. Uh, you can join the waitlist by clicking on a, or going to www.sapien.network. Um, the link was, will obviously be below in the description. And to further um, highlight their objectives, they are going to uh, establish a proof-of-value consensus protocol. Basically, all this means is it's going to be reputation-based. It's going to be a meritocracy. And when I say meritocracy, it means that the uh, better that you do on the platform, the more recognition that you will re uh, receive. Therefore, the um, uh, more that you will get rewarded. Um, if you uh, troll or you... Um, it cause problems, you will be downvoted, and therefore it's uh, it's it's a, it's it functions almost like a democracy uh, within a decentralized platform, and um, that's what they they want to achieve. They want to launch a democratized autonomous platform, so that the users are all uh, uh, interacting on the ecosystem, and the users are responsible for the um, direction that the platform is going to take. So they will have a voting. Um, a voting system, so to speak, that you can vote on the, uh, you know, the, the, the future of the platform. So you will have a say if you use it. They're also going to introduce a marketplace, as I mentioned earlier, um, and that's going to, you're going to be able to trade stuff like uh, premium content, even physical goods can be traded. And uh, they are also looking to power future applications on the back of the Sapien network. Um, and they will build uh, uh, eventually a development platform that's powered by the uh, SPN token. So lucky for me, the white paper is fairly well written and they've taken into consideration the market and they've uh, spotted a market opportunity as ever. Something very important if you're going to launch an ICO and you have a product, you really need to have a viable market for it in the future. And social media is obviously one of those larger markets. Uh, currently, they say that over 2.3 billion social media users um, uh, and by 2020, there will be more than 3 billion. So it's a growing market. Uh, 
the reason for the sapien thing is that you know we're human and they've referred several times to humans being an inherently social species and um, here is another comment in the marketing section so let's look at the e-commerce um, according to statista the number of people buying goods or services online will increase from 1.46 billion in 2015 to more than 2 billion in 2020 and technologies like blockchain internet of things and cloud computing are radi radically changing how consumers will transact in the future um, and so all they're really saying is it's a growing market um, they also take into um, account the different trends as well uh, such as privacy concerns and and stuff like that so um yeah it's a billion dollar market it's going to be a hard nut to crack as i said earlier competition is robust in this sector and uh, you know users are funny with social media they prefer uh, some networks over others which is why uh, facebook is so popular and um you know other ones i can i can't name off the top of my head at the moment i've forgotten but the, you know there's been so many other social media networks that have disappeared same with um, the um uh, you know the search engines and other things like that so uh, yeah it's a fickle industry as well however uh, if you manage to get adopted if uh, if users do start using you then there is a very very high um, potential in the market interesting statistic here social network advertising revenue from 2014 to 2017 obviously in us dollar billions uh, and there we see it there going from 17.85 billion in 2014 all the way up to 41 billion last year a massive increase year on year and uh, this is set to continue the more uh, people start using social media the more the advertising revenue will increase and um, now the reason i brought this to your attention is because uh, advertising at the moment is the core business of the internet um, adverts make up um, the vast majority of money that is earned on the internet and uh, the, the marketplace here is staggering now um, is this trend going to change potentially yes i think you could potentially see a move towards more um, targeted advertising and more a, a focus on rewards for curators you know as we move into a more decentralized world so it'll be interesting to watch how the advertising market reacts to that um, and you know it, it could be the case that the users of a social media platform such as sapien network turn around and say nope too much advertising uh, we don't want to earn money from this that's not the goal so it's something to to bear in mind when you're um, you're looking at investing in some of these social media networks and um, they have to earn money too the platform has to be maintained it's you know we don't it's not an altruistic venture it is an actual it is an actual business so uh, it'll be interesting to see how um, decentralized social media will affect the advertising market and finally on the marketing section i just wanted to bring this article to your attention it's quite a, a good article uh, the most significant social media marketing trends of 2018 if you want to read it again it's in the description um, video content is uh, taking over now. People want to watch videos rather than actually read stuff. People are getting lazy. Um, I think that's the way it's going to go. Also, chatbots are becoming ubiquitous now for customer relation management. Uh, so if you interact on the website, um, there's a chatbot that will allow you to um, interact in a, in a, in a way autom automatically and get the answers you want without actually speaking to somebody in, uh, in person or over the internet. Um, again, mobile devices seem to be taking over. I mentioned in a um, review, previous review, that mobile devices are taking away uh, revenue from television, traditional television, and obviously social media. Um, you know, you will be using your mobile device more than you will a laptop or even a desktop computer these days. Um, paid content. Um, yep, there's a, still a trend to uh, um, pay for content as well so the, the again I, it's continuing to be a, grow, a growing market um, automated um, a automated systems for um, social media are popular now Hootsuite they are as you can see um, social board as well and uh, also trends and uh, this is quite important and this is what I wanted to point out it was the overwhelming domination of facebook and youtube twitter instagram as the biggest social media networks 
Now, if we look at the biggest ones uh, last year, there are no decentralized networks on there. Decentralized networks in comparison are absolutely tiny. Now, the importance of this is that it is a very, very big market that has not been disrupted yet. And this is the thing to bear in mind. Now, there's potential here for from an investment standpoint. If you pick the right decentralized social media network, the right um, company that you back that gets a piece of this pie, this could be worth billions upon billions of dollars. I mean, we know how much money Facebook makes. I think it's over 90 odd billion every year now. Um, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, the same. Um, and this is an industry that is ripe for disruption. And as you can see, with the current crop that dominate it, it has not been disrupted at all yet. Uh, we're in the very, very early stages of cryptocurrency, guys. And, and we're in the very early stages of decentralized uh, media. And uh, it's going to make an impact. Make no mistake about that. It really will. So if we're looking at um, the potential here, I would say this is one of the areas where competition among the, uh, the different um, ICOs and the different uh, decentralized networks is robust at the moment. But there's a massive, massive potential for the ones that will get it right. So the Sapien network is a decentralized app built on the back of the Ethereum um, blockchain. And the reason for this, they believe, is the Ethereum blockchain is already uh, proven its uh, stability, its um, usefulness for this particular uh, application. So um, they do mention Steam in their white paper and the differences between the Steam uh, as they have their own blockchain, of course, and uh, why they chose the Ethereum blockchain. Um, the main thing to take into consideration here is the execution of the smart contracts uh, for um, the automation of token payments, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, uh, that will function as the fuel to keep the ecosystem running. And in this case, uh, they're going to build several different features. Uh, as we discussed before, they have a reputation system and it goes into a little bit more detail how they're going to implement that. They're going to have a voting mechanism as well, which will allow you as a user, when you stake your token, and they're going to have a proof of staking model. They also mention that they're going to use Ethereum Plasma. So that's a new technology coming out. There's already a white paper on it if you want to go and read that. So essentially, you can stake your SPN tokens for a percentage of the reward and also gives you higher voting rights and um, an ability to contribute more as well. And uh, as you can see, the token will be used on the ecosystem for um, obtaining rewards, uh, posting rewards, commenting rewards, and also the voting rewards as well. And there's a, a little infographic there that shows how it works. So you have your um, Sapien uh, network there with the creators posting content for the users and the users getting the attention. And in turn from that, they get the, um, a, for their time spent, they get returns. And for users that sharing their personal data, um, they get the filtered content for them. So that's the advantage they get there. So there will be um, posting and commenting uh, payouts, as you can see, voting payouts as well, as we said. Um, and obviously the payout management will be handled on the Ethereum blockchain, as I said. Uh, I think they're going for a, an ERC20 token, if I'm not wrong. Um, there, there will also be um, a, a service or a system to handle voting manipulation as well. And uh, they go into detail about how they're going to uh, um, implement this democratized autonomous platform that I spoke about before with uh, mandatory staking. Um, so you'll have to stake for six months to count towards the DAP voting. Um, vesting as well, so you won't be able to vote using your entire supply. You will um, only vote with 10%, so that makes it a little bit more fair. So you can't just be a whale and go in and um, take control. And there will be uh, variable stake limits as well. Um, also tribunals, um, all helping towards democratization of the platform. So as far as the technology is concerned, they do actually have a beta and you'll be able to register for that very shortly. You can see a screenshot of it on their 
um, homepage. And if you're already registered, you can log in and actually use it. Unfortunately, I'm not, so I can't demonstrate it here, but it is available, it is there, so um, at least we know we've got a minimum viable product going forward. Some of the other interesting technology that they are discussing um, is how to prevent quantum computing attacks. Everybody says, oh, the blockchain can be hacked with uh, quantum computers, etc. Um, and they're talking about public key cryptography here. Uh, elliptic curve cryptography and elliptic curve discrete logarithms. Um, really beyond my, uh, my knowledge, most of this. But uh, they also mention bots and uh, how they're going to tackle uh, bots targeting uh, their website and also Sybil attacks as well. Um, so, uh, yeah, they've taken most of this stuff into account. The other thing that I need to point out to you is inflation. Now, uh, the SPN will be an inflationary uh, currency due to the, the um, nature of the social media. More people start posting, you need to generate more tokens. The finite model doesn't really work with the social media model. So you need to um, mint more tokens every year and they are um, going to have a projected inflation rate of 5%. Um, year on year and that means that the more people that join the more tokens there are but that should not dilute the value of the tokens that much if you look at steam steam's now worth quite a lot of money and um, it's um, you know it, it's an inflationary currency as well this is a similar model it's just something that they they have to do to grow um, users on the platform if there was a finite number of I think the, the, the they're starting with um, half a billion 500 million um, SPN tokens. If that was kept um, where it is, the tokens would grow in value, uh, theoretically anyway, tokens would grow in value so much that would it would inhibit new users coming onto the platform. Thus, the, uh, <laughs> the, the platform couldn't grow, it would stagnate, and uh, eventually we get to a point where the tokens uh, began to decline in value. So it has to be inflationary uh, for this kind of uh, social media decentralized network and also to fac facilitate the rewards pools. Um, if they don't mint any more tokens, they won't have enough to reward new content creators or even incentivize new users from joining and signing up to the platform. So it will be a proof of stake model, as I mentioned before. Um, again, the uh, ability for you to interact on the platform will depend on your staking of tokens, much like it happens on Steam. Um, larger stakers will be rewarded uh, and find the platform probably more rewarding than people that just um, stake a few tokens. And it goes into how you can unstake your tokens and um, what sort of rewards are the schedules for them that, um, that, that, that there are. And also how they're gonna achieve consensus with the proof of stake model uh, rather than the proof of work model. Uh, some technologies mentioned their Casper protocol um, plasma as well um, obviously these um, uh, plasma smart contracts uh, are used to enforce the protocols and um, <clears throat> instead of mining rewards uh, you will uh, get rewards from staking your tokens on the uh, network so the biggest issue that they've got and this is the same for all blockchain technology is um, the data that they're going to store so it can't be stored on the blockchain um, the media uh, you know, the postings, the, um, the videos, etc., uh, are too large um, for storage on the Ethereum blockchain. So they're going to have to come up with a solution for that. So their solution is going to be uh, off blockchain storage like Filecoin or Swarm um, or something of that nature. Uh, they have the beta release, as I mentioned before, um, and let's just look at this here. It's built with an open source full stack JavaScript framework called Meteor.js. Um, the framework is fast, cross-platform, and is equipped with many features right out the box. And it's the most common framework used to build dApps. If you want to know more, again, I suggest you uh, read the white paper. Um, there are other um, considerations as well, but I think they've covered, it's quite a well-written white paper. They've covered most of the common concerns and addressed most of the uh, technological aspects that as an investor you would want to know without going into too much detail that um, boggles the mind. So, um, you know, you, you can understand it, even me as a layman, um, I'm not a developer, you know, I'm, I'm a, a, an investor and a 
enthusiast, I would say. Uh, I don't do any development. My uh, days of uh, computing and programming are long behind me, unfortunately. But um, it's easier. It's easy. It's quite easy to read. The white paper is presented in a in a very uh, easy and informative manner. So as we discussed before, the SPN token will be used to power the Sapien platform. So it will be a proof of stake model. That's what they've decided since Ethereum is moving to proof of stake eventually as well. And uh, yeah, how long has that been going on? But still the uh, aim of the Ethereum um, community to have that happen. Uh, they will also, the tokens, the SPN tokens will also have the reputation network. So you'll be able to... Uh, um, get more power on the platform, much like uh, Steam, much like it works on the Steam platform. Uh, also, you will be able to create and vote on proposals as well. That's what they mean by a democratized autonomous platform. You will all also be able to use it for content payouts and user to user tips. So if somebody gives you some good advice, you can tip them straight away using the chat bot, I would assume. And you can also um, a tip for good content as well, uh, reward good content, so to speak. And also, uh, the other thing that's going to be used is uh, for the integrated marketplace. Now, we discussed it briefly. Uh, it, this could be used for a number of different things from, um, uh, you know, power-ups on the platform or, um, you know, uh, premium content to actual trading of physical goods. The potential is unlimited here and the token, the SPN token, will be used for that to purchase and also... Uh, um, reward and also there will be a reward for uh, any revenue sharing from a result of advertising. So on to the token sale now. The pre-sale begins uh, on January 31st in a few days time. Uh, there will be bigger bonuses. Now they're only accepting Ether for the uh, investments or the contributions. There is no minimum goal for this and uh, the smart contract will distribute the tokens after the, the entire uh, ICO is complete. So after uh, um, the proper ICO main sale. The bonus structure is dependent on amount contributed. So as you can see there, it starts from under $10,000. You'll get a 20% bonus up to uh, bigger, bigger contributors um, of over $250,000, you'll get a 45% bonus depending on what you contribute. And then the token sale, the proper main sale will start on March the 3rd. Their hard cap is $30 million. They will um, accept Ethereum and also Bitcoin. They may also accept alternative cryptocurrencies. I think you'll have to uh, change them through Shapeshift, so it says there. So that will be interesting. There will be bonuses for early um, uh, contributors ranging from 15% on day one right through to no bonus on week three. And uh, the minimum goal is 50 million Sapien tokens distributed. So uh, that will be interesting to see how uh, many they actually sell. So the total tokens uh, number 500 million. There will be a breakdown and distribution as follows. There will be 45% or 225 million tokens for the ICO and pre-sale. There will be 30% for the platform reserve. There will be 20% for the team and they will be subject to a vesting period of 24 months and a six month cliff. There will be a 5% bounty campaign, which I will speak about very briefly in the next chapter. And uh, tokens at the moment, at pre-sale, you will get 4,000 tokens, SPN tokens for one Ether. It works out about 30 cents at the current price of $1,200 for an Ethereum. So the bounty campaign for Sapien is on Bitcoin Talk um, Forum. And it is one of the usual... Um, a, campaigns that you'll see, very similar to the ones that you've probably done before if you're into doing these bounty campaigns. I don't normally do them, but I have started submitting my videos um, for them now. 
seeing as I've got a few followers and uh, I might as well since I don't get paid for my videos um, every little bit helps as I said so why not um, I might as well get some tokens if at all possible if they deem me worthy <laughs> so um, again the usual uh, requirements is you've got to join the telegram group if you want to participate and the allocation is as follows they have a signature bounty on bitcoin talk forum which will amount to 30 percent they ha they have a youtube blog media article bounty of 20 percent twitter bounty of 15 percent facebook bounty of 10 percent vk bounty of five percent translation bounty of 15 percent and a medium bounty of five percent and uh, general rules will apply and all the different uh, criteria of what you need to do to apply for the campaign are highlighted below and listed below as you can see it goes into each uh, uh, different campaign and um, I like to see that they're running a medium campaign I think mediums a very nice platform especially if you like blogs which I'm tending to get back into blogs now um, actually reading articles and it's a very nice easy to read format so it's uh, it's nice to see them rewarding people that post on medium So welcome to the roadmap section. We'll look at both their milestone roadmap and their visionary roadmap. So they had the idea back in 2015. They launched their alpha, the closed alpha in 2016, and they launched their private beta in a quarter one 2017 last year, and they've been updating it. It's moved from an end-to-end -end encrypted platform over to the blockchain in 2017 quarter two. They wrote their white paper a few months ago, quarter three 2017, and they launched their testnet faucet and showcase token on the Sapien network in 2017 quarter four. So moving into 2018, obviously token sale phase one begins in a few days. Phase two will follow. Uh, quarter two 2018, they will start to increase the brand awareness and begin porting the Sapien platform to an actual decentralized application on the back of the Ethereum blockchain. They will incentivize network effects and revamp the user interface and experience for crypto novices in 2018 quarter three and quarter four will see us um, continuing or see them sorry continuing with the uh, uh, ramp up of the marketing and acquiring 10,000 new users per month which is nice ambition let's hope they can do it and uh, they're going to start building the infrastructure for the uh, democratized autonomous platform in 2019 quarter one so the roadmap continues and um, decentralized marketplace will roll out on 2019 quarter two quarter three we'll see the open developer platform so you'll actually be able to build your own uh, third party apps and integrations on top of this and they will optimize the platform to scale and add 1 million new users per month in 2019 quarter four and tokenize user data and extend the token use to other websites 2020 quarter two and quarter four 2020 they will be adding 10 million new users per month so you can see there they have the ambition to actually challenge the big boys start off slow um, walk before they can run but eventually they want to be adding just as many users as facebook and twitter do and this is the uh, vision roadmap as you can see alpha then became beta and testnet was launched token sale is launching brand awareness will continue after that uh, token sale number two will commence after the brand awareness has started decentralized app will be built um, with the democratized autonomous platform developer platform marketplace will follow tokenized user data will follow after that and then there will be an api available as the ecosystem expands and also an ad platform for businesses so all very uh, exciting going forward Let's briefly look at the team. Now, the CEO and co-founder is Ankit Bhatia, and he is a electrical engineering and computer science um, buff from Berkeley. And he has uh, developed, really, the, and pioneered the Sapien platform in his junior year at Berkeley. So he's a developer, a JavaScript engineer, in fact, and he's also a crypto enthusiast, and he's been involved for many years. Also is involved with Y Combinator, um, a graduate from the last year, I believe. Uh, Robert Giometti, similar background. He's also the co-founder and um, he spearheaded and developed many of the um, features and the algorithms and innovations in Sapien. He, he's probably uh, responsible for writing a lot of the white paper um, given uh, the amount of information about the uh, Ethereum uh, blockchain and its uh, new technologies like Raiden and Plasma, etc. 
Uh, there's also Matthias as well. He's uh, uh, the marketing strategist. He's the founder of ICO Informer and Crypto Swag. You may well be familiar with those. Uh, Stefan is the lead Solidity dev. Um, he is um, enthusiastically studying uh, in neurobiology and applied physiology um, alongside programming languages. Aurelian is the project uh, or product security expert, sorry, he's a white hat hacker. Um, and he's um, looking for integrity in cryptography and computation. And Christopher is the director of marketing for a growing IT company at the moment. He's head of PR and he's also a crypto enthusiast. Um, the advisory body uh, com uh, consists of uh, six people, as you can see. Uh, Latif at uh, the top here was the chief executive officer of eBay India, and he has grown that business, so he's probably the all-star if um, we had to name one. Um, there are several others. Another one I wanted to point out here was uh, uh, Dr. Michaela. She is um, a PhD and she's an expert in distributed intelligence systems. Um, and she's also worked in collaboration with businesses like Rockwell, uh, Daimler Chrysler, SAP, BHP Billiton, Tails and Nortel and many others. So um, she looks like an MVP as well. So it's a fairly strong team they've got um, and uh, I've no doubt they will be able to implement um, what they want to do. So they only have three partners listed on the website. Uh, Net Objects, uh, one in the middle, which I don't actually recognize the logo, sorry about that. Um, if anybody knows, post the, the, the link below. And Wilmer Hale, I believe um, these will be handling legal aspects of the business and also perhaps some aspects of the ICO. I'm not familiar with any of these partners, so I couldn't really tell you. So as suspected, Wilmer Hale are actually the legal representation for this blockchain, for this ICO. And uh, interestingly enough, I didn't know who NetObjects were either, but they are apparently an IoT, or Internet of Things blockchain platform. And they look like they've got some interesting concepts and uh, uh, interesting applications. So um, I'll leave the link below uh, for NetObjects as well if you want to take a look. Moving on to social media, they are represented on all the usual channels, Telegram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Bitcoin Talk Forum, Medium, Instagram, Reddit, and you can contact them through email, as you can see there. They have three repositories on the uh, GitHub as well, and the code is published on the website. You can see that for the um, smart contract. They have 14,563 members on Telegram and it is growing exponentially. They're actually one of the fastest growing Telegram groups or ICO groups um, at the moment. So um, I would advise you join before it fills up and it will. Uh, uh, they also have 3,887 followers on Twitter. Not many fake followers as most of these other ones have. So that's interesting to see. Their um, Reddit is only um, populated by 71 readers, but they are active on all the channels and that's important. And finally, they are Medium. Uh, they have all the information about pre-sale. The last um, blog on Medium was on January the 28th. Uh, so they are very active on social media. They have a very, very good community support there. Uh, and that's good to see. People are taking notice. They're sitting up and, and, and uh, seeing this project out there and talking about it. Quite a lot of hype behind this one. Um, and that's good to see. Now, verdict time. Let's look at the positives first, as usual, and what I see in this ICO. Number one, they have a working product already, and this is very important for all my investments. I always stress this, and um, this one's no exception. It's very uh, um, reassuring to see a working product, to see that they've actually been uh, dedicating themselves to building something rather than just trying to raise revenue. Number two, they're a potential steam at rival. The reason I say this is a positive is because there are others out there, but none have actually st stepped up to the plate and proved themselves. Sapien looked like they could be that potential rival. Number three, this has got the community backing now. 
uh, its community is growing very, very rapidly. People are taking up, uh, sitting up and taking notice of this project now. And it's got quite a lot of hype building behind it. So that will drive it forward, hopefully to success. Number four, there is a multi-billion potential market here. Social media is massive. Everybody uses it now. And decentralized social media, democratized systems, uh, are the future and they will take over eventually I've no doubt about it they will take over the traditional centralized platforms number five there are user rewards and incentives for people to get involved to start posting to start using it and that is an attraction for people that looking for another stream of income looking to maybe try blogging or try um, video blogging or something else uh, along those lines to maybe make money supplement their existing income or potentially just uh, do it full time. So rewarding users is important to get the people on board. Number six, they have a community driven approach. So they're not relying on a centralized business model to drive the product forward. They're gonna to listen to the community. You as a community member will have a say in the direction that this company is gonna go, the direction this platform is gonna go. Number seven, they have a fundamental understanding of how to implement. Uh, they have already, as I pointed out in the team section, they have already undertaken several studies and some of the advisors have been invo involved with blockchain projects already. They know what is required to get this to work. The white paper outlines it as a very polished, polished product and a very polished approach. And um, they obviously understand what uh, the um, risks are gonna be what they need to do and uh, how they're going to move forward and, and also the technology as well. And number eight to uh, just compound on what I was saying there, the team is very strong. It's strong enough to be able to implement this uh, project with little or no problems whatsoever. And number nine, the final positive here, it's a fairly low token supply. Starting off, the token supply is only going to be a maximum total of 500 million with only 225 million being sold in the sale. So that uh, makes it an attractive proposition. At 30 cents a token, it's still quite attractive. And on to the negatives now. Number one is competition will be fierce in this sector. This won't be the last, it's certainly not the first of its kind. Steemit is the daddy at the moment. Um, we'll need to see whether this can knock Steemit off its perch a little bit, or at least inf inflict it with a wound. Um, and But there are other ones, as I pointed out in the competition section, there are a lot of uh, different projects that are trying to um, get in on the act. And uh, this one looks like it's one of the more polished and this one's probably got a bigger chance than others, but again, they are dealing with a lot of competition and things can change quite rapidly in this sector. Number two, they are an inflationary token, so you have to bear that in mind. Um, if they succeed, the token value will obviously increase. However, if they do not, it's inflationary, they're bringing new users onto the platform, so it could be that um, your uh, value or your investment goes down a little bit as they bring 5%, um, every year onto the market. Number three, the hard cap of $30 million is not that high. It's not low either, but it may inhibit a quick growth of this token. If you're paying 30 or 40 cents uh, during the sale per token, the hard cap may inhibit um, quick growth. The market cap will be quite high. I think it will be around probably 90 to 100 million when this hits the exchanges. And that may inhibit your flipping or making, making a quick buck out of it. Number four, this has got a long roadmap to full implementation. We're going to be waiting until 20, uh, 20, uh, 2020 for this to actually be fully implemented. And that's quite a long time. Obviously, there will be a platform available very quickly as they um, start advertising and launch after the ICO. But for full implementation, we are waiting quite a long time. And number five, and the biggest negative is obviously success will be solely dependent on the amount of users that adopt on this platform. If the platform gets a lot of users and gets picked up fairly quickly, it will drive this on to success. If it struggles to uh, find users, struggles to find people using it, then it could be a damp squib and die fairly quickly. So it's something to bear in mind. So all that taken into account, my final verdict is let off some steam, Bennett. 
Uh, yep, that's a pretty bad Schwarzenegger uh, impression. Uh, you can tell me what movie that's from in the in the comments. You must have seen it. I grew up with movies like that. Um, that shows my age. I'm giving this one four out of five stars. I think it's a very solid project. It's a good project. It's um, at a reasonable price point for an investor. And I think they can succeed. I hope they do succeed. Um, every investment obviously comes with a little bit of risk. Let's uh, be honest with ourselves here. But I like Sapien. It, it came to my attention a few days ago and um, it's starting to grow in popularity among the community as people sit up and take notice of it. I think it's a, it's a very um, polished product, as I've said already. And uh, I will be investing in it at pre-sale. I have already registered. My KYC is uh, in application at the moment, I think. So I, I suggest that if you're going to invest, you get in there and uh, register and uh, sign up quickly. I, like I say, I, I, I think there's a lot of value here. I think there's a lot of potential, and that's why I'm going to invest. But as ever, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is purely for entertainment purposes, guys. And uh, please don't invest on based, uh, based on what you hear on YouTube videos. That could be the most stupid thing you ever do in your lives. And... Um, if you are going to invest in anything, especially ICOs, always bear in mind there's an element of risk in any ICO. There's no guarantee of making any money. Um, again, always invest with caution, always invest wisely, and always invest what you can afford to lose. Yeah, um, Do your due diligence, do your own research as well. Look into the projects yourself. Don't just... Um, Take, you know, take my word for it, take other YouTubers or other influencers' words for it because there's always things that we miss. We're only human, we're fallible. Um, you know, and the only way you're gonna find out whether the project's for you is by looking at it yourself. And that's about it. That sums up the, uh, the Sapien Network review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, again, please like and subscribe. I'll be back later, hopefully tomorrow, with a new video, another ICO review potentially, because there's just so many of them now. I'm struggling to keep up, <laughs> but it is fun. I enjoyed this uh, review. I enjoyed looking at Sapien Network. I hope you enjoyed it as well. I'll catch you later.